uh, in any negotiation. Second of all, um, it's true that we are, we are proposing that we are willing to release our right under the development agreement to share in the surplus golf course revenues, um, particularly during the next three years. Not this year, there isn't any, but well, there is some, but not enough to make a big difference. But over the next three years, uh, in exchange for a modification on the, on the timing for payment, not the dollar amount. That, that modification, we understand, the, uh, will permit the golf course to address some serious issues that it has. Frankly, the to, to have this golf course become and remain financially stable and financially healthy. But as I said, the, as to the repayment of the loan, we're only talking about the timing of when those payments would be made. And during the temporary suspension period, the loan would continue. Public setting. But would you mind addressing, uh, you know, is this, is this course teetering on the brink? Are we on the bubble of bankruptcy? Are we uh, sweating whether or not we're going to make next month's payments? No, and sir. I didn't think so. And the complexity of this arrangement all came out of the drive by the city to assure that it would have a golf course, that it would have it with no liability. The entity which Mrs. Barth is trying to figure out who has to pay for us, well, there was an entity created which is the only one obligated to ultimately pay anything, and frankly, the city can just say, we're not going to pay. The city obviously doesn't want to do that. They do not want to lose this asset, and fr frankly, we don't want to see it lost either. This is an important, uh, an, an important, um, important ac a recreational asset and ultimately an important financial asset. The course has been suffering. We, we obviously, I think we, we, we failed to address this problem when we put Carlton's this company. My understanding, there's going to be one payment of this obligation. And if we make that payment, if the negotiation is to, to, to pay that or to let the ERGA hold it for the reserves, then ultimately it'll come back to the city out of ERGA. We're, Carlton's is going to pay it one time. Okay. And what we're saying is we're prepared to pay it without regard to the city. To, to any revenues of the golf course. So the city gets all the revenues of the golf course and the fund ultimately would be placed. This is, I understand there's going to be a negotiation to come up with that and to demonstrate to you when the, when the dollars come out of URA and come back to the city when you, when you get the money. That money is going to get paid by us. URA is owned by the city. I mean, right. you know, it's, it's your money. It's just a different, different pocket. Um, and, and then one question, since you're up here, if you don't mind, um, someone was saying, uh, a comment um, looks like a bailout for Carltus, but what this, what's being proposed, it looks like it might turn out to be a good deal for everyone. What is in it for the, as we call the one party, the developer? Yeah. For, first of all, sense to me when, when we look here at at what the item is, it says authorize a temporary suspension of the sales tax repayments as outlined. In the uh, Antonius Ranch Development Agreement and support development of amendment to the agreement, in which operational emergency contingency reserve accounts will be established and funded with surplus golf course re uh, re revenues. Now, the way I look at this, this isn't going to slow us down any because it was a, you know, it's it's a two-step process. Makes sense. Um, Jerry said. To me, what was one of the most cogent things said tonight, which is this is being done 10 years too late. And it's great. And that's exactly it. And, and I'm glad that the board's getting on top of this. I mean, um, you know, it wasn't too long ago. You know, we, we, we always had a, a policy. But as far as the city itself, we didn't have the reserves. And now we finally, with Jay's help and, and Phil's leadership, we've been able to get that under control. Now we're going out to some of these satellite organizations and we're trying to get to them the same economic sanity. And um, so I, I think it's great. I'm going to s support the motion and when it comes back, uh, we'll see what we find. But dovetailing on what Jerome says, we get... Uh, uh, we get the minutes for every ERGA meeting. We get the financials. We see them. We see them all the time. Um, you know, um, 